All right. I want to start off by saying, Barakathaya Hawa, Barakathaya Hawa Shai, Barakathaya Hawa, Barakathaya Hawa Shai, Barakathaya Hawa, Barakathaya Hawa Shai, Call Hala Yahawa, Ba Shem Yahawa Shai, Ba Shem Raka Kodash, Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, Sincere Akiam, out there listening and learning and pushing this truth. And uh, Shalom to the few Sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to watch this out. It'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And um, it's going to be real quick. I just had an article that I saw off of RT. And it reads, um, don't ask for a raise. Bank of England tells Brits. Again, it reads, don't ask for a raise. Bank of England tells Brits. Uh, pay increase requests hurt an economy battling record high inflation, the regulator explains. Pay increase, requ sloppy, pay increase requests hurt an economy battling record high inflation, the, re the regulator explains. And that's what um, we've been telling you over and over, all right, that first and foremost, uh, Esau Edom has an agenda, and that's to bring forth this new world order. And um, in order to do that, he has to crash this fiat system, all right? These paper dollars have to has to be done away with, okay? And one of the ways he's doing that is through uh, inflation, which is going to lead to hyperinflation, you know? You know, Esau Edom is bringing the um, problem, you know, he's bringing the chaos, you know, order out of chaos, problem, reaction, solution. He's bringing the, um, the chaos, you know, you know, so that he can swoop in with the, um, the karagma, okay? That's going to be the solution. That's going to be the fix, you know, but, you know, we see this is all leading up to Jacob's trouble. That's what, that's what this is about, man. Jacob's trouble. We're at the door. Cause this is a global thing, man. This isn't just one country, or you know, this, the, the, the you know, Yahweh Shem Yahweh is visiting the, visiting the earth. Okay, he's about to try the earth. The hour of temptation is nigh. This is more prophecies, um, screaming. Okay, you see, and it's gonna, it's it's right here. It, it, I was gonna say it's ultimately gonna come here to Babylon the Great, but it's already here in America. Okay, but things are only gonna get worse. You know, look at what happened in Venezuela, okay? That's, you know, that that's the future, okay? Famine, you know, you know, you, you having to go to the store with, with wheelbarrows of money because the, the paper dollars are going to become irrelevant, you know? Because Esau Edom is ushering in a digital age, okay? We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. This is a global reset. And he's, 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 he's um, you know, because he's about to, he's trying to establish this, his enterprise, you know, that crafty enterprise, you know, that new world order, you know, that digital age, that digital, you know, society that's spearheaded by the Karagma, you know. But anyway, um, let me let me hit the scriptures first and then I'll close out with, with the article. All right. Uh, we know it. We know it. Matter of fact, I start at um, I start at three. Habakkuk chapter two, uh, verse three. Main point is in six. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. And we, we've been saying it over and over. We're at the end. All right. You know, the end of what? A wicked age, a wicked rulership being uh, led by Esau Edom. OK, the so-called white man, the wicked per Malachi one and four. OK, our evil twin brother. OK, you know, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right. You know, our redemption is nigh. Yahweh Shemihawah Shai is on his way to recompense the wicked. Esau Edom, okay, for how he's been ruling the earth, you know, you know, and for what he did to the apple of the Lord's eye. Yasharala, you tribes, okay? You see, he's coming to recompense the wicked. You know, two-thirds of our people are wicked as hell too, you see? But we're in these times. Judgment. We're at the door of Jacob's trouble. All hell is about to break loose, man. And it's going it's to be all throughout the earth, you see? You see? You see, it says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Yeah, though it seems like it's taking forever, it's not going to happen, it is happening. Right before your very eyes, man, whether you believe it or not, whether you accept it or not, whether you can see it or not. 
Okay? Yahweh Shem Yahushai is on his way, man. You know, and he's coming quickly. It says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. And that's talking about Esau Edom. Okay? He can't get right. He's the wicked. He's the vessel of wrath fitted to destruction. Okay? You see? You know, they are the people of the Lord's curse. You know? It says, Behold, his soul. And you can see. Look at his MO. Look at his track record. Look at, look at, look at how he rules. Look at what he's been doing. You know? You know? You know, nothing but violence in the earth, man. You know? You know? It says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up, and he's because Obadiah, he's proud, okay, is not upright in him. But the just, that's us, Yasharala, okay, and at, at this particular time, only the elect, the elect of Israel, Yasharala, okay, as it is written, two thirds of Israel are going to die, man, you know? But the just, the, the, the elect of Israel, okay, shall live by his faith, okay? And that's a gift from Yahweh, okay? You got to hold fast, you know? It says, ye, it says, yea, also, because he transgresseth by wine, Esau eat him, okay? And that's his philosophies, you know? Chiefly his democracy, you know? You know? You know? All his, all his, his lies, you know? Yea, also, because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who in Lord, yeah, he's the harbinger of death. He's the colonizer, okay? You know, neither keepeth at home. Yeah, he covereth its fields and t taketh them by violence. You know, you see, neither keepeth at home. Who enlargeth his desire as hell? Because everywhere he goes, he brings death. Okay, you know, and is see that's what it says. And is as so like, Let me let me start up. It says it's talking about Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the wicked. Okay. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine. Okay. Like I said, his his, his Babylon juice, his philosophies, his various philosophies. Okay. He is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell. Yeah, and part of that wine is democracy, man. You know? goes around spreading that damn democracy you see rome 2.0 you see neither keep it at home who enlargeth his desire is hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied you see he's a damn devil the bible speaks of but gathereth unto him all nations you see and that's what he's trying to do with this new world order you know he wants complete control man perfect uh, you know perfect slaves you don't want to obey he just turns your chip off that's what Aaron Russo said, man. You see? And he know if he had but a short time to rule, man. And he, he's going to come down with great wrath. You see? But gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. You see? Shall not, oh, this is the main point. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him, destruction, okay, woe to him, destruction, woe means destruction, to him that increaseth that which is not his. And how did you get this place? How did you get over here? You know, who was here before you? Okay, Gad was over here, Issachar was over here, okay, Reuben was over here, okay, and you, you raped, robbed, and stole, man. You pillaged, man. You, Like I said, you're the colonizer, you're the wicked one, okay? You see? And you got you got a perpetual hatred against your brother Jacob, man. You know, you see. And the Lord said, "For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee." And that's what it is. Shameful spewing is on your glory. You see, that's why you got to pull down uh, that statue of a uh, 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 Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy, Ro Teddy Roosevelt, man. You see, you damn devils shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him. And that's what we do. When, when we do these video epistles and we go out on the highways and the byways, we're shaking the hand, man. Okay? We're lifting up that banner, man. We're exposing the man of sin through the power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and the Rakak with Dash. It says, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. How long? Okay? And not much longer. Like I said, Job said, The joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. Okay? You see? It's the light affliction. This devil got a little bit of time to rule left, man. And he, he knows it, man. And he's scrambling. You see? And it says, How long? And to him that laid it himself with thick clay, I bought you. You see that usury, your debts, those heavy pledges. You see? that You know? 
You see, to him that ladeth himself with that thick clay, shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee, and awake that shall vex thee, and thou shalt be for booties unto them. You see, you see, I got to read some more, because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the rem remnant of the people shall spoil thee, because of men's blood and for the violence in the land of the city, and of all that dwell therein. Woe to him that coveteth an evil covetousness to his house. And that's Esau Edom, man. That he may set his nest on high, over, read Obadiah. You see? That dwelleth in the clefts of the rock. That he may be delivered from the power of evil. See? You see? So woe to you, man. You see? And that, that's what you see. That taunting proverb. You, you going down, man. That thick clay. You see? You see? Real quick. Um... I'm 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 gonna hit this one and I'll, I'll read the article. Ecclesiastes uh, 12 and 1. Remember now thy Creator and who's our Creator? Okay, because I'm only concerned with you, you tribes, man, Yasharala, you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Latinos, Hispanics, North American Seminole Indians, man, and the Israelite foreigners, the Israelites that are scattered abroad that may look like some of the heathen nations, okay, but their seed, their lineage, according to their father, because the man carries the seed goes back to one of the 12 patriarchs. You are the Lord's chosen people, all right? Okay, you see? So um, who, who's our power? The power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. What's his name? Yahweh, okay? That's who the world That's who the world calls God. God just means power. His name is Yahweh, and his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai, okay? Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai, he's the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The power of Yasharala, no other nation, man, okay? No other nation is promised salvation, man, okay? And damn sure not Esau Edom, because Esau Edom is the only nation not promised mercy, okay? Okay? According to the uh, Zondafan Zonda Bible Dictionary, when you look it up, when you look up Esau Edom, the only, he, she was a neighbor of, 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 of Yasharala, okay? You know, of Israel, and the only nation not promised mercy, Okay, that the Lord said, though he, he, I think that's Hebrews, though he sought it carefully with tears, he was rejected, man. Okay, you see? So anyway, again, remember now thy creator, Yahweh Yahweh Shai, in the days of thy youth. And that's talking about now, now. Um, seek the Lord while he may be found, okay? You know, seeing that it was in your mind to go astray, seek the Lord ten times more. Okay, now, now when you got this liberty... You, you got this grace, you know, you're free to do whatever the hell you want to do. Repent, man, okay? Repent, you know, you know? Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. Because we keep telling you over and over, Jacob's trouble is on the horizon. It's, it's close, man. It's close. We're close. All hell is going to break loose. Daniel 12 and 1, a time like never before. The hour of temptation is going to try the earth. You're going to be tested like never before, okay? And the Lord said, be faithful unto death, okay? So that's the evil days, the bad times, the bad days, man, okay? When all hell is breaking loose, you see? You know? Now is the time to remember the Lord and store up, store up them treasures, them righteous acts, you see? Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Okay, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few. So, hey, shit gonna get locked down again, man. You know, it ain't gonna be no work out there, you know. You know, we in them times, man. You know, it's going to be a nasty dog eat dog world time dog eat dog uh time out there man survival of the fittest the time of the purge you know you know like the lord said for the love of for the lack of a bread the love of many shall wax cold you know because iniquity shall abound you know you know it's going to be nasty you know you know you're going to need that hedge that the why that spiritual mark exempt from exempt from judgment that hedge around you in them times man that's the evil days so now is the time to, to seek the Lord, you know. It says, in the days, verse 3, in the days when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few and those that look out the windows be darkened. Yeah, because 
it's going to be no hope out there, man. You know, it's going to be a crying for wine, right? But you ain't going to find that. In the streets, you're going to be looking for wine, answers, comfort, you know? Why are these things happening? How do we get out of this? You know, when is it going to end? What's going on? You know, you're going to be looking for the men of the Lord. You're going to be looking for answers, but you're not going to find us because it's also going to be the time of the famine, Amos 8 and 11. You're going to be uh, um, running to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, you know, to, sit, to seek the men of the Lord, but you're not going to find us because in them times, we're going to be pilgrims upon the earth, man. Not to mention some of us might be in uh, concentration camps, you know. Some of us are going to be martyrs, beheaded, you know, you know. Hey, man. We coming in some serious times, man. Evil times, bad times, okay? Shit gonna get real, real quick, you know? In the blink of an eye, reality is gonna set in, okay? You know? It says, and the doors, it says, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few and those that look out of the windows be darkened and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low and that's already happening man the music industry the entertainment industry is through okay that's why every everybody's on youtube Everybody got to go to YouTube to, 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 to get that uh, get that bag, you know, and, 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 and the traffic is on YouTube so the Lord can mark you niggas, man, you know, so there's no excuse, no cloak for your sins. We're in these times, man. Serious business, man. You know, serious business, man. You're going to have to answer. You're going to have to answer for, for what you've been doing, for the things done in your body, man. <laughs> you're going to have to answer, man. Woe to you that put the day of the Lord off, man. Woe to you. That day is, is quickly approaching, man. You know? So I'm going to close out. Let me read the article. I don't want to write this out. This was edifying and exhorting, you know, and comforting, you know, because we're close. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is turning up, man. He's turning up, you know? You know? Man, beautiful times. And this is dated from February 8th, 2022, the year of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai turning up. Don't ask for a raise, again, off of RT, don't ask for a raise, you know, get that out of the back of your mind, <laughs> hyperinflation is setting in, but guess what, oh well, <laughs> you know, it's too bad, so be it, you know, figure it out, <laughs> don't ask for a raise, Bank of England tells Brits, pay increase requests hurt an economy battling record high inflation, you know, and that's them 10 toes, man, you know. You know, that's Brexit. They, they, they were already weak, but that's period. Every You know, everything is weak, you know. Um, let's read a little bit of it. It says, worker, worker unions across the United Kingdom have lashed out at the government, it's like at the governor of the Bank of England, Andrew Bailey, for telling Britons to hold off on demands for higher pay, despite admitting that the cost of living crisis could last until 2024. In an interview, the BBC last week, Bailey... Slocky, in an interview with the BBC last week, Bailey said that the said that businesses should assert restraint in pay negotiations to help battle 30-year high inflation. His comments came hours after the central bank had raised interest rates for the second time in three months. And if you remember, that's what happened with um with the housing bubble, you know, over here. You know, what was that? 2008. I forget. You know, I remember, man. I remember that shit vividly. Everybody was riding high on the hog, but and the economist was saying, "Hey, we're in a bubble. We're in a bubble." You know, motherfuckers didn't listen. And we that bubble. We always been in a bubble. You look at the debt clock, man. That usury, that interest, that thick clay. That shit is. You can't pay the, this. You can't, it's no. It's no bailing America out. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta crash this bitch and start anew. And that's what you see they doing, man. They resetting this bitch. And it's going to be digital. You know, that's why everybody talking about that digital dollar. Okay? You see? That's what we... Man, beautiful times. In an interview with the BBC last week, Bailey said that businesses should assert restraint and pay negotiations to help battle 30-year 30 30 year high inflation. You know? It says... um, his Oh, that's what I was saying. Salaki, about the, about the housing bubble. Yeah, every it was that fixed mortgage rate, I think it was. You know? You, you you were getting you, you couldn't afford the damn houses right say the house was uh twenty two hundred thousand or something you know motherfuckers because they had decent credit you know 
They were buying up houses. I remember it. I remember it. You know, going up in subdivision, buying up two, three, four houses and sitting on them, you know, you know, so they could flip them. You know, but then after a certain amount of time, the interest rate skyrocketed and they couldn't afford it. You know, they couldn't afford them payments, man. You know, and then they, I remember the banks had to get bailed out. You see? So it had been a bubble. You know, this place is through. It's a big ass bubble that's about to be popped. You know? In an interview with the BBC last week, ba Bailey said that businesses should assert restraint. Hey, and that's because you're using that fiat money. That funny money that's not backed by anything, man. Real money, according to the scriptures, like the elders always say, is, 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 is resources. Silver, gold, you know, land, crops, animals and shit. That's real money. You know, tangible things. That, that fiat money ain't backed by shit. How much more so this digital system that they setting up. You know, ones and zeros and shit, you know. <laughs> man. Whew. Complete control. If an inter, um, so like it says, um, uh, it says his comments came hours after central bank had raised interest rates for the second time in three months. When asked whether the regular regulator was asking workers not to demand big raises, Bailey, whose latest annual pay packet was worth over five hundred and seventy-five thousand pounds, that's a seven hundred and seventy-nine, um. Three hundred and nine uh, dollars, you know, seven hundred and seventy nine thousand three hundred and nine dollars, you know. So that's how much he's he's making it annually a year, and he gonna tell motherfuckers not to um not to ask for no raise, you see. And that's why that second Ezra, that sedition, you know, they gonna they gonna lose it. The people are gonna lose it. But like I said, they want that chaos, you know, that Hegelian dialect, you know, order out of chaos, you see. You see, it's gonna get nasty, man. <laughs> that famine set in. The the work, the you know, there's no work out there. You know, you know, man, it's gonna get nasty. Ooh boy, it says um when asked whether the regulator was asking workers, and that's what you see happening in like Salakia, like uh, Mexico, these uh Latin countries, they were they were um attacking the politicians, man. You know, you know. So it says when asked whether. I forget another politician was in hiding too. I forget recently who that was, you know, w wasn't making public appearance appearances, you know. I think it might have been Matt Macron. I'm not if I'm not mistaken. It says when asked whether the regulatory regulator was asking workers not to demand big raises, Bailey, whose latest annual pay packet was worth over five hundred and seventy-five thousand pounds, said broadly yes. He explained that while it would be painful for workers. Some moderation of wage, it says some, it says he explained that while it would be painful for workers, some moderation of wage rises is needed for prevention of inflation from becoming entrenched. So no more bailouts, man. <laughs> no more stimulus packages. You can, you can, you can already, you know that. That's a thing of the past. No more handouts, you know. It says, um, this Telling the hardworking people who carried this country through the pandemic they don't uh, they don't deserve a pay raise is outrageous. General Secretary of the Pan Industry GMB Trade Union Gary Smith was quoted by CNBC as having said, "And the kingdoms are divided." That's a more prophecy, you know. You know this place is through. Um, well, you get the idea. I don't want to make this too long. You can read the rest of it, you know. Hey, but you you get the point, man. This place is through, and this is a this is a, a global thing, you know. Because Jacob's trouble is gonna try to earth. The hour of temptation is gonna try to earth. Cause Jake, we're scattered, we're scattered ac across the four corners of the earth, but that main destruction, okay, you know, is gonna take place in Babylon the Great, okay, you know, America, you know, you know, cause she's that whore, you know, that's riding the beast, you know. Anyway, with that being said, I don't want to write the za. This was edifying. Keep pushing. We're close. Shalom. Wa abad babo.